All right, I hope this is going to work. Yeah, this is just uh, primarily the main area that I need to uh, focus on. Now, obviously, there's a huge chunk down here. What I'm trying to, I've been doing the past few days is um, restarting my um, readings up on uh, how to do an amphibious landing, amphibious assault, all that stuff. Um, it's going to take a long time, and I think I got to the point uh, just a little while ago. I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to actually have to pull out the Gallipoli uh, scenario and and maybe do a couple of turns at some point just to get a proper feel thing is I'm using that um, I've been using the Gallipoli scenario anyways is kind of like an uh, um, well even the the book the grand campaign uses that as an example so um, like you know for example uh, the British player has 50 um, amphibious uh, uh, lift capacity of 50 at Mudros and does this that and the other thing and so on and so forth so yeah, that's what I've, I've got to start getting into. But yet again, I've also got to do a ton of reading and uh, writing up again, just doing the notes. Uh, the main thing is for me right now, it's trying to figure out and what he like. How do I get amphibious lift capacity? How do I quantify that? Uh, because in the rules, it says it can be up. Uh, uh, it can be affected, you know, through reinforcement use and so on and so forth. But and it's represented as strength points, but. Anyways, like I said, I've got a, a, a while to go. So I've, I'm looking here for, so this, uh, from the British perspective, is to be used as a diversion to try to uh, stream uh, forces away from the, uh, the Ottomans uh, when they uh, go towards, um, uh, on the day of ascension, towards Gaza down, uh, down below there um there's the r for the reinforcements uh center so i do know that's where um some of the people are going to be popping out that's where the second army is uh at the moment all these locations are potential spots for me it's still going to be massively severe i, I take a 60 percent reduction because of the distance in my ability to transport troops and so on and so forth it's going to be expensive slow uh it's going to be a flipping nightmare I got a long way to go to figure out, but what I've done now is at least I went through the rules to see uh, which hexes I can get to, and these white ones here were just, I wasn't too sure based on the, uh, the way the, um, the rules are written, because it says, oh, uh, for an amphibious landing, you need to have, um, you, you need to have um, a hex side with uh, a bit of ocean in it, uh, and so on and so forth, as well as um, it, it can only be in a clear or broken terrain, but then I was like, okay, what about what about this guy who doesn't actually have any um, any of the ocean, any of the blue on it, or that one there? But they said as long as it's continuous from hex side to hex side, and you can see it is from uh, maybe you can't, but uh, from there, if it's either clear or broken, so both spots are that's good. I thought, uh, and I can't. There's one spot I can't go to which I did originally have. Oh yeah, the yellow guy. The reason why I can't go for the yellow guy, even though um, there is blue there, uh, there's no clear or broken terrain, so that's that. The only other spots then I was looking at was like, okay, what's gonna happen uh, when I do land? Because I think I'm starting to learn as well, uh, is that I'm gonna have to get to a port real quick uh, to start getting other uh, troops in. Uh, and oh, just the sustainment and so on and so forth because obviously you're not I mean you're on foreign soil and it's you know I just can't truck people uh, truck supplies in and so on and so forth um, I'll end up having to take a port at some point and so I was looking at okay you know I've got a port capacity of two and, and ones here which ones are the best and also looking at the best defensible terrain um, when I when a when a port switches sides, it's reduced by three, uh, three levels in its port capacity, uh, but it never goes below zero. But when it's at zero, it's inoperative. So it doesn't matter if I went for, for, for example, if I went towards Hefa, uh, Beirut, Tripoli, or uh, Lat Latakia, um, they're all gonna end up at zero. So I was like, okay, that, at least that, got, that settled that for me. Um, now, then I'm just looking now, um, seeing well i don't know I, I mean i can't you can't land troops um anywhere where obviously it's been occupied and i'm not going to be that's not going to that's not a worry what i'm trying to do is and i you know the uh the ottoman troops aren't on the board yet um and this is probably not going to happen until february 1915. um 
so you know I've got to see where they're going to locate I'm assuming uh, I'm going to take a look historically and I know the Ottomans did they had garrisons uh, set up in all these spots and did they have you know the odd little unit around there but anyway some I've got to you know I'm going to obviously um, just as a precaution always try to protect the uh, to protect my shoreline a little bit um, but you know I want to see where the quickest areas that um, the Ottomans will be able to bring in reinforcements uh, when we get to. I'm thinking my favorite spots, uh, favorite bit at the, at the moment is probably the tra uh, to take Tripoli. I don't want it to get this way because they'll have the river bonus across here. Here I've got some great uh, defensible terrain as they try to get into me uh, as far as I'm concerned. So uh, my f right now we're um, looking at, uh, or I don't know what you want to call it, a feasibility study. Of trying to take Tripoli and we'll see if that uh, it just seems like um, they have potential only one constraining point and th the main objective is like I said I'm trying to to divert forces or get uh, move their this guy's attention away uh, um, it's either going to be uh, well no it would have to be after after Ascension starts because Ascension now uh, that's in uh, January I think it's the first Wednesday or something in January 1915. Anyways, that's it. Or the third or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that's it. I'm going to off to do some stuff and read and try to figure out. Well, yeah, I got to go and take a look at uh, what's going on. Historic. Gosh, I wish I had that $160 Ottoman Army book. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hope you're having a good one. See ya.